possible. Ever wonder how grocery stores and restaurants have a year-round supply of your favorite produce regardless of the season? It's all done through a process called transition. The reasons are climatic. In order to provide leafy greens throughout the entire year for the United States, operations like Greengate Fresh, we will move back and forth between the Salinas region in California and the Yuma region here in Arizona. So we're in Salinas usually from uh, Mid-April through the end of November. Everything grown in Yuma during the winter is duplicated up north. So romaine, iceberg, broccoli, celery, cauliflower, spring mix, kale, and more all have an alternate season in California. You got different components of this move. So you got the farm here. So really, this started 130, 40 days ago with the planting of the crop. So the end of this crop has to dovetail into the start of that crop up there where we're also been planting since December. And they have to dovetail in so we don't have too much or too little crop to satisfy our consumers. Salinas and you must see hundreds of trucks and pieces of agricultural equipment, sometimes partially taking up parts of the road as companies pack and unpack. And if you spot massive convoys of trucks on highways on an April weekend, you may be seeing this ag transition in action. So we've got dryers, scales, baggers, cutting equipment, uh, palletizing machines, and then other things like bins and film and other supplies, cartons and things that will move. But transition has costs. Beginning with the logistical challenges of relocating not just crops, but the technology used to process prepackaged salads and pre-cut vegetables. The farm operations making the transition typically shift a crop's production in three days, usually over a weekend. About two and a half days, three days. So we'll shut down on a Thursday. And Thursday morning, they start pulling out all the equipment. Uh, by midnight that same day, all the equipment's on the road. We fly our mechanics to go meet the trucks in the other location. Uh, they get off the plane and they get ready to start putting everything back together. So Friday is all installation. Saturday, we test, make sure the belts are going the right direction, all the, the water pumps are working, uh, chemical injection systems are working, and then we turn it over to sanitation Saturday night. Our sanitation team will work about a 12-hour shift and they clean everything again from top to bottom. And then Sunday morning, QA will come in, they do about 300 swabs and then turn over the facility to production. And who makes this possible? Seasonal immigrant workers, also known as H-2A seasonal field laborers. The growers company has been using H-2A labor for the last 15 years. The laborers we take up to Salinas are, are on two contracts. We have 242 will, will come back in June. The other 303 will stay, will stay in Salinas all the way till November 30th. When, as we move up north, um, that's a different contract. We, of course, under H-2A, we have to provide housing. So about four years ago, we built a 600-bed complex in Salinas that we house our workers in. It's a pretty nice complex. And then in Huron, um, we put them in apartments as well. It's, it's hard on families. Um, it's hard on the employees. But we try to do everything we can to create really a, a family atmosphere. So when you're away from home, you feel like you're working with family members. So what happens in Yuma when the leafy greens move to California? What happens for us down here is then we go into our spring crops. So we'll be starting melons here in May. Um, uh, dry onions start here in April. So all those things. So we still got plenty of activity here um, during the off season. We have Durham wheat planted, we have cotton planted, we have alfalfa planted oats planted, sedan grass planted, all those things have to be harvested and done after the vegetable season. And then in November, transition happens again from California back to Arizona. Transition is just another way that the growers, distributors, and shippers in the industry once again prove they will do anything to ensure Americans have the very best produce in the world. Reporting in Yuma, Samantha Bird, News 11.